Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Javon or OSN Acer. I want to welcome you guys to my 2016 gaming setup slash room tour video today. Now I know this video is long overdue and I appreciate you guys for supporting me and still patiently waiting for this video to come out. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and get it going. So as soon as you enter my room, the first thing that you're going to see on the left hand side of my wall is a four piece painting of some beautiful ladies that are dancing in the sunset. I normally don't have too many pictures on my wall, but I thought this would be a very nice piece to put up there. Plus it blends in with the paint, so you couldn't go wrong with that. So moving on, next we have my 47 inch Sony flat screen TV that's hung up on the wall. Sadly to say, this TV really doesn't get used as much as it used to anymore. Nowadays, I only use it at nighttime when I'm about to go to sleep. You'll see me on YouTube at night or you see me on Netflix pretty much. And that's mainly because the TV is actually facing my bed. So it allows me to lay in bed and watch TVs, which helps me fall asleep. So if you see me on YouTube late at night, that pretty much means I'm on my 360 and I'm laying in bed trying to fall asleep pretty much. So next over here, we have some shelves that pretty much house all my electronic devices, such as my home theater system receiver, my cable box, my Sega Dreamcast system, which we'll get to in a minute, and my Xbox 360. And of course, we can't forget the very top shelf, which serves as my bookshelf. Basically, it holds all my books, magazines, stuff like that. Whenever I get time to read, I'll just go up there and find something to read real quick if I have the time. Starting off on the bottom shelf, you guys see the Sega Dreamcast system on the left, and then you see the Sega Game Gear handheld system on the right. So in my opinion, I think the Sega Dreamcast was the best console that Sega ever created. It had a lot of great games for it, a lot of fun support. It was four players pretty much. Had a lot of fun playing the system. The only bad thing about it was when the release of the PS2 came out, it kind of drove this system into the hole. You never heard about it anymore, which is why I had to pick one up. I seen this at the flea market for like $10 and I had to get it. So right here are the controllers for the Sega Dreamcast system. They both work fine. Nothing's broken. Everything works perfectly. I have a small selection of games right here. Mostly all of them here are my favorites. I, however, do not have Dynamite Cop or Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, if anyone is a so-called Sega Dreamcast fan and don't know about those two games that I just mentioned, we cannot be friends and I will dislike you forever. All right, so moving on next here, we have the Sega Game Gear handheld system. Now, I don't know that much about this system, but what I do know, it is the very first handheld system that actually featured a backlit screen. This is before the Game Boy Advance came out and the Nintendo DS and all that stuff. So it's kind of surprising to see an uh, old school system with a back of screens. I didn't think that that technology was actually big at that time. This was actually given to me by my grandfather. I remember like a couple of years back, he was cleaning out a storage closet. And I guess he found it and just gave it to me and I decided to keep it. It's in a pretty fair condition. Everything works fine on it and everything. So anyways, you guys are witnessing me getting absolutely destroyed right now by the computer. I stand like no chance at all. It doesn't matter though. I just want to give you guys some good old gameplay from this Game Gear system so you guys can see how it is. But enough of that. On our next shelf you see here, we have my two cactus plants along with my alarm clock. I try to keep low maintenance plants in the room from time to time, just plants that don't require too much attention because I think they do make the room look nice and definitely sets off the room a little bit. So it's always a good thing to have. All right, so on our next shelf here, you see the Xbox 360. This is nothing important, nothing new. You guys know what the Xbox 360 is, so I'm just gonna skip over that, show you guys my games. I have a couple of games for it. A lot of these games I don't even play, to be honest with you. I just kind of have them just to stack up on them. But that's pretty much it for the Xbox 360. So moving on to my very top shelf is my bookshelf. Here I keep all my books that I have, my magazine, stuff like that, things I like to read on when I have time. I'm always down for picking up a good book and reading it, especially if it's an interesting novel with a very nice story, I'll read it. I love reading when I'm traveling. That's like the best time for me to read a book, either that or the bathroom, of course. I'm a big fan of the Marvel comics, so that's why I have this Marvel comics book. I like to read up on all the villains and the superheroes. I mean, it's something I definitely watched a lot when I was growing up, so of course it's gonna carry on as I get older, so definitely had to pick up one of these books right here. This is the Guinness War Records book right here. Another book that have a lot of interesting records, you know, a lot of interesting things in it that you probably didn't even know existed. I like reading this from time to time, you know, just to see what's going on basically in the world. So another good book just to pick up and read. Not really too much reading on this, more just pictures and small paragraphs. So if you're one of those who don't like reading for too, too long, this book ought to keep you entertained for a while. All right, so moving on. Next, we have this pink one in our wonderful selection of books here. Let's take this one out and see what this is. Uh, let's just move on. So anyway, shout out to Muhammad Ali. I think he was one of the greatest fighters to ever compete in the sport of boxing. I have this magazine right here just in remembrance of him pretty much. That's why I keep it. So once again, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. And the last thing that I have on this shelf is a random stack of AA batteries. I don't even know why these are here. Everything I use nowadays are straight up rechargeable, so I don't even need these. So let's just move on. So next up in the room, I have my Black Ops 3 Juggernaut mini fridge. This mini fridge came with the pre-order for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 last year, as you all probably know by 
by now. I don't really even use this fridge. It kind of just sits here as decoration. Like when I'm live streaming or working on a video, you'll just see it in the background just hanging out. Even looking inside of it, you can easily tell that I don't use this refrigerator for anything, but it's still a nice piece to have in your room. So that's why I still have it. All right, so continuing on to the last part of this side of the room, here's my refrigerator. I basically use this refrigerator as a beverage cooler. It keeps all my drinks cool. I don't really put any food in here. The main purpose of this fridge is to provide me with any type of drinks that I need in case I get thirsty while I'm gaming or something like that. That's the main reason why I have this refrigerator in here. And if you didn't know, I had this refrigerator first before I had the Black Ops 3 refrigerator, of course. That's just in case you were wondering why I had two fridges in here next to each other, because I know that seems kind of weird. So let's go in the fridge now. I'm sure you guys are dying to see what I have in here. So as you can clearly see, I mainly stock up on all my favorites. Now keep in mind, my favorites change from time to time. You know, I might get tired of a certain drink and want to get something else. Then you'll see me stock up on that. So what you see now basically is just for the time being. Like next week, I got to have something totally different or next month, I got to have something totally different. You know, a lot of times I'll get on Amazon and I'll see like a lot of different drinks I've never heard of or drinks that seem like very interesting to me. So I'll try them out and if I like them, then I'll stock up on them and then I'll be good to go. Starting from the very top shelf is my banana Snapple. Everyone in my clan pretty much knows I love this flavor Snapple to death. If you guys are a fan of Snapple and never had this flavor, you should definitely try it out. The only thing about this flavor Snapple is kind of hard to find. At least in my area, it's very hard to find. So whenever I go to the store, I try to always stock up on it heavy because I always feel like they're going to stop carrying it and I'm not going to be able to find it anywhere. And that is my biggest fear. So next up, we have the infamous Blackwater. Now, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or anything like that or my Twitter, but you see me tweet about this a lot. You see me Instagram this a lot. This is like my main source of H2O right now that I like to drink whenever I want to stay hydrated. I seen this item on Amazon, so I decided to try it out and I ended up liking it, obviously, so I had to stock up on it. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for the fridge. At least if I ever come over to hang out or anything, you guys know some of the drinks that I like. Moving on to the top of my refrigerator, you guys see the Gamma Lab G Fuel collection. If I don't want anything inside the refrigerator to drink, then I'll make some G Fuel to hold me down instead. From time to time, I'll add new flavors to the collection whenever I feel it's time. I actually haven't added any new flavors in a while, so I might get some soon. And on top of here, this is where I keep all my cups. You see the Gamma Labs cup that I have for when I'm making my G Fuel, and I keep my water bottle up here for when I'm working out. So behind my cups is where I keep my basket full of my snacks. Now as you see right now, I don't really have that many snacks back here, but I do have some jerky XP. This is like hands down one of my favorite snacks I love to eat while gaming. This basket is treated similar to the refrigerator, meaning you might see a snack in it one week and then you might see a totally different snack in it by the next week. I'm always changing around my snacks because I can never get used to just one thing. All right, so moving on now to the gaming setup side of my room. Here, starting off, you guys see the DX Racer chair. I'm sure all you guys are familiar with the DX Racer chair. You see one of the YouTube videos and all that. I have one as well. I love this chair. It's very comfortable. It's a great chair. It is a little pricey, but it does get the job done very well, I must say. You're definitely doing it big if you have one of these chairs. So anyways, moving on. Now we're at the most important part of the room. I would like to share with you guys my gaming setup. So starting off first is the controllers that I play with. Right here you guys see I have the Xbox One Elite controller and I have a backup Xbox Elite controller just in case the first one messes up. So moving past the Xbox One Elite controllers, we have the Xbox One Elite console. Now this console is supposed to start out 20% faster than the original Xbox One. Now I personally have not noticed a big difference between the two, so I mean, all in all it is a great system. This comes with a one terabyte hard drive, so that's great for game saves and stuff like that. So other than that, there really isn't anything fancy about this console, so let's just move on. So next down the line we have my 27 inch RL series BenQ monitor for my Xbox One. This BenQ monitor also features a one millisecond response time which is perfect for gaming. This definitely keeps you sharp and focused when you're playing your game. And hanging out on top of that is a headset that I use which is my Astro A40s. This headset is the first gaming headset I've ever bought and I must tell you it is the best headset I think in the world personally. I'm not sponsored by them. But after using this headset, it's durable, I mean it works well, and I think it's overall great. So if you're looking for a good headset, definitely try out the Astro A40s. I mean, I know Turtle Bees just released one, I think the Elite 11s or something like that, X Elites or something. Check them out also if you want to, but personally, I would choose the A40s over the Turtle Beaches. That's just my opinion. And directly next to this is my other BenQ monitor, which is my 27-inch GL series. It actually features a 2 millisecond response time, but I actually do not use it for gaming. I use it just for productivity and stuff like that. Maybe if I get into CSGO, I'll probably 
probably upgrade to the XO model. But for now, this will definitely get the job done. And right here is the webcam that I use. This is the Logitech C920 Pro. This webcam serves as my primary video source whenever I have to record myself or from live streaming or from in a Skype call. I use this webcam pretty much. It holds me down very well. It's high definition. The quality looks great. Definitely a great camera to recommend for anyone that wants to record themselves and look good on video. And the majority of all the gaming setup videos that you watch on YouTube, you're going to probably see everyone with this webcam. Okay, moving on to my keyboard, I have the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard. Now, I was stuck between this one and the Razer Black Widow keyboard. It was a hard decision over which one I wanted to choose, but I ended up going with the Corsair K70, mainly because it features the media controls on the top right corner of the keyboard. So if I ever need to turn down the volume or mute it or change the track, I can just press a button to do that because I'm always listening to music whenever I'm on my computer, and that's a big deal breaker for me. So that's why I chose this keyboard over the Razer Black Widow. So moving on to the right of my keyboard, keyboard is my mouse that I use, which is my Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. This mouse features the chroma lighting that you normally see on all the Razer products. And going along to match with that, I have the Razer Mouse Mat, which is the Firefly. This also features the chroma lighting, so when used together, it creates a very nice light show. And finally on the end, I have my Blue Yeti microphone. This Yeti is a blackout edition. I decided to get that color since it will match and blend in with my setup. I use this microphone for everything from Skype calls to video recording to live streaming, anywhere that I have have to use voiceover work this mic comes in handy and of course you hear me using it right now for this video so sitting comfortably under the desk is the main attraction or the most important thing of the overall setup which is my computer here i have a raid max viper gx mid tower that i got from ironside computers I went all out customizing this computer because I do a lot of computer work such as editing videos, live streaming, recording, stuff like that. Gotta make sure you have all the right components to get the job done. Having a reliable computer is a very big deal. I'm sure you guys know that. But anyways, I'm not going to put the specs on the screen. If you guys want to see the specs, I'll put it in the description below so you guys can check out everything that this computer has on it. So this is how the gaming setup looks at nighttime when the lights are off and you have your little brother playing on your setup. It's a very nice light show and I forgot to mention that I do have LED on the setup also installed behind the desk so this basically adds another beautiful selection of colors that really make the setup pop at nighttime when it's dark and here I have a collection of all the phones that I've ever owned before in the past I have all my phones here in the left to right order with the phone from the very left being my very first phone to the phone all the way to the right being my very last current phone I really want to show you guys my very first phone, which is this right here. This is the LG Voyager in titanium. This phone featured a full slide out keyboard, which made it very easy for me to send text messages. That's why I love it so much. So we're going to skip on down to my latest phone that I use right now, which is my iPhone 6S Plus. This is my current phone that I use at the moment. This is mainly where I check my Twitter, my Instagram, all my social media I do pretty much on this phone. Even though I have these other phones here that work perfectly fine, I actually don't use them to kind of just sit here. So I might give them away in the future or something, you know, you never know. And one out of the last two items that I want to show you guys that's on my computer desk is my Fitbit. I don't know if you guys know about Fitbit. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But if you don't, it's basically an exercise band that go on your wrist. You'll wear it like a watch pretty much. The main purpose of it is to track all your body movement. It tells you how many steps that you take. It tells you how many stairs you climb. It tells you your heart rate. It tells you how many calories you burn. It records all that data accurately and is very reliable. This thing even tells you how long you were sleeping. I just think it's very important to stay active. I know a lot of people that watch my videos are gamers themselves or play games at one point. Something around games pretty much. So I'm just saying, you know, it's a good idea sometimes to put the game down to go outside, run around, play basketball, skateboard, whatever it is that you do actively, you know, take a break sometimes and go do that. Now, I'm not trying to sound like a personal trainer or anything like that. I'm just saying it's a good idea to go outside once in a while and just get a breath of fresh air. So anyways, the last thing I want to show you guys on my computer desk is my pluggable seven port USB charging hub. Basically, this handles all the charging for all my devices, such as my iPhone, my iPad, my Fitbit, my portable batteries, anything that I need to charge up, this thing pretty much can take care of it all at one time. This even comes in handy for my Xbox One Elite controller since I have rechargeable batteries in that. I'll put that on the charge at nighttime and have that charge up so I'll be good for the very next day. Anyone that has a computer desk or a gaming setup, any type of scenario like that, definitely needs to have one of these. I mean, it'll come in handy, it'll do you right. I got this on Amazon for like 30 bucks and it's been reliable ever since. Now we're on the very top shelf of the computer desk. The first thing you're probably gonna notice up here is this peaceful founding that's just chilling on top of here, minding its own business. And to the left of that, I have the Michonne from The Walking Dead bobblehead figure. She's basically just standing guard, making sure that no one messes with the fountain. All right, next after that, I have my coin jar or my piggy bank, whatever you want to call it. This basically counts my coins, you know, whenever I find a penny on the floor or something like that, I'll throw it in here and just let it add up. 
But anyways, moving on to the next thing. Here I have my laptop. This is my Asus G71GX. I no longer use this anymore because I have an Ironside computer, of course, so this is kind of obsolete. But 80% of the YouTube videos on my channel and the OSN Gaming channel was made from using this computer right here. So I definitely owe this computer a big thanks, and it definitely did its job, you know, while it was in service. I still use it now from time to time, just under certain circumstances. But other than that, my Ironside computer pretty much handles most of my workload. All right, so moving on to the last two things on this shelf. The first thing I have is my Bluetooth waterproof speaker. This was given to me as a Christmas gift, and I take it with me wherever I go whenever I want to hear music. It's waterproof, so I bring it by the pool. It's rugged, so if I drop it a couple of times, it's fine. It's very reliable, and it connects very easily to my iPhone, so I absolutely love this thing. And behind that trying to hide is my other cactus plant. You guys seen the other two cactus plants on the other shelves. This is where the third one sits at. Just hangs over here, mind his own business, just chills out, and that's it. So before we move on to the very last part of the room, one last thing I must show you guys that's pretty cool is my green screen. I have it attached to a pull-down shade that's mounted to my ceiling, so if I ever have to edit a video or if I'm ever live streaming on Twitch, I can just pull the shade down, use it real fast, and then when I get finished, I can just retract it back and have it go right back up. So it's out the way, never have to do any moving around, none of that. It's very convenient and a very good thing to have in your room. And make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash OSNNatester. So here we are. We made it to the very last part of the room. And this is the very last part of the video. Hopefully you guys are still woke and no one has fallen asleep yet. But anyways, what you're looking at right here is a box collection of all the items that I purchased for my gaming setup. I have them all stacked up neatly right here. For some reason, I like keeping my boxes. I don't know why I don't like throwing them out. I know I'm weird like that. It's also pretty funny, you know, because when I look at all these boxes, I never realized that I spent so much money on all these items. But at the same time, I like to make sure I have reliable items, you know, no hand-me-downs. You don't want anything that's going to be unreliable. So sometimes you have to spend the extra amount of money just to make sure you get that quality, satisfying product. So that's what I had to do. So everything here, I would definitely recommend if you wanted to build your own gaming setup. Every single item here, I definitely stand behind and co-sign it as reliable. And another good tip is try to buy from Amazon if you can. Amazon have a lot of these products at a cheaper price and they offer warranty services for them also. So it's not like once you buy them, you're screwed. So just keep that in mind if you ever want to build your own gaming setup. But anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap up for this video today. If you guys enjoy this gaming setup slash room tour video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up like. I will greatly appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more videos from my channel, please make sure you subscribe to OSN Nacer to get the latest episodes as soon as they come out. So once again, I thank you guys all for watching. Take it easy. And as always, have a good day.